Hey, Keith Bacrone here from the Ultimate Track Day Experience, and thank you very much for joining me on this UTDE video. And as you can see, I'm sitting here in my car. I was actually driving back from a track, and I kind of came up with this thought here, and I figured, hey, I'm going to pull over, and I want to go ahead and record this right away where it's fresh in my memory. But most of you guys know that I had a consulting business for about 12 years, and what I did is I, I went ahead and consulted independent small business owners. And most of the business owners that came into our fold, obviously the number one reason why they came um, our direction is because they wanted to make more money. So that was the outcome that they wanted. They wanted to earn more money. So what we used to do is we used to teach them what I'm calling lead measures and lag measures. The lag measures is they want to make more money, but there's some lead measures they have to do to be able to ensure that they do that. Now, I know you're probably thinking, what does this have to do with racing? But I'm going to share with you what I did when I was racing. And I kind of, let's say, took that same principle and moved it over to auto racing. And I'm going to share that with you. But let me talk a little bit more about the lead measures and lag measures. So again, business owner comes our way, they want to earn more money. So there was some things that they needed to focus on um, rather than just the outcome, they needed to focus on the lead measures to get to the lag measures. They wanted to earn more money. What are some of the things they needed to focus on? Well, we taught them three things. We taught them, we taught them how to drive more traffic to their, to their store. The second thing we did is we, we taught them the financials. And the third thing is we taught them systems and operations. And if we focused on those lead measures, they would get to their lag measures as far as making more money. Well, it's the same thing when you look at it, when you put a race car on the track. Well, the lag measure is we want to make sure we get around the track as fast as we possibly can. So there might be a track track record that we want to break, or maybe it's a personal record that we want to break, right? Well, if we just focus on that, we're not going to be focusing on the lead measures that's going to help us get to that lag measure, lag measure, which is going to be that ultimate uh, uh, track time. So let's talk a little bit about some of the lead measures in racing that you need to focus on. Well, there's a few things that I do. The very first thing I think that's very important is consistency. So I don't, I'm not really even focusing on the time, the lap time. I'm just making sure that we can consistently lap, hit laps, lap after lap after lap. Now, providing there's no traffic and let's say the conditions are good, you should be within, you know, no more than a second each lap. I mean, in most cases, sometimes you're going to get down to maybe two or three tenths lap after lap after lap. It's going to be that consistent. So that's the first thing I'm going to be looking at as far as a lead measure is going to be consistency. The second thing I'm going to be looking at is like, say, brake PSI, right? So we want to get the maximum out of the brakes. So let's just say you want to be at like 1500 PSI and maybe we're, we're varying anywhere from 1200 to 1500. Well, again, there's an inconsistency there. So some of the lead measures we're going to be focusing on is making sure that we get to the 1500 PSI. Another thing that you could be focusing on is just corner speed. So what is our rolling speed in some of the corners? So if we have reference, let's just say if we have a good lap time and we're able, we're able to identify exactly what the lap time should be in the corner, well then we can go ahead as a reference and see where are we in, in correlation to that, let's say, good uh, cornering speed. So again, we're going to measure that as well. These are all lead measures. If we get a little bit more consistency, let's say we're using the maximum out of the brakes, let's say we're using rolling speed in the corners, um, we're optimizing that. Those are all lead measures that's going to get us to the lag measures that we want to get to, which is going to be our fastest lap around the track. Sometimes people get too focused on, I want to say, the lag measure, and they don't focus on the lead measures that's going to get us to that ultimate uh, track track or say ultimate lap on the track now the last thing i want to talk about is i did work with with a sports psychologist before and they kind of train the same thing but they say it a little bit different so they say some people are outcome minded and some people are process minded it's kind of the same thing outcome minded is somebody that obviously maybe wants to win the race right but what is the process to be able to win that race so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you to think more of the process. So like, what are some of the things that we need to be focused on? If we pay attention to those and we focus on those, ultimately at the end of the day, you're gonna get the outcome that you're looking for. So I hope that you found this helpful. And this is something that if you notice, if you've ever worked with us, let's say at a track day event, these are some of the things that we actually walk you through. We're focusing on the process. We're focusing on the things that are ultimately gonna get you the outcome that you're looking for. Again, thank you very much for joining me on this video here. And I'll be talking to you next week. And again, if you have any questions, get a hold of us, get a hold of us at info at utde.racing. Be safe. Talk to you soon. Thank you.